Okay, let's get some more background on this story. Uh, Michael Meyer Resende with me in the studio. He's the executive director of Democracy Reporting International, a Berlin based NGO that works on de democratic reform, mainly in North Africa and the, uh, and the Arab world. Thanks for joining us. Michael, um, in other countries, the Arab Spring has kind of gone cold. Um, Tunisia, of course, is the success story. Uh, what is it that Tunisia did differently to some of its neighbours? Uh, Tunisia from the beginning was considered maybe the most likely case for a success story because it has a middle class, an educated middle class, it's quite a homogeneous country, relatively developed economy and from the beginning one could see that the political process I think was more inclusive than in any of the other states in the region. So all sides tried to be inside this transitional government and after elections they continued working together. So I would say the whole setup was much more geared towards inclusiveness and yet they run into serious trouble which is when the court had stepped in. Exactly, that, that was um, 2013, assassinations in the country, uh, tensions uh, getting very bad in the country. The National Dialogue Quartet that's now won the Nobel Peace Prize, mm -hmm. what was their contribution? How did they make a difference to that whole process? When they came in, the country was really stuck. As you said, there were assassinations, security concerns, very heavy accusations from both sides of the political camp. And the political parties actually asked them to step in, which I think was quite remarkable to say, we need you to help us with this. And then these four charted a course forward, which led to a transitional government of technocrats um, and found a way out of this impasse where everything was blocked. And that was a tremendous achievement because Tunisia at that moment was close to falling off the cliff as well, I would say. What effect do you think this Nobel Peace Prize will have on Tunisia? It's a very positive signal. Many people in the country feel or fear that they may get forgotten, that people say, success case, great, let's move on. We also hope that it reminds everybody that Tunisia isn't there yet. It has to implement this good constitution they adopted. There are lots of challenges economically, security-wise, building these institutions, and I think this will give a boost to that effort. Analysis there from Michael Meyer-Rosende, Executive Director of Democracy Reporting International. Thanks for joining us, Michael. Thank you.